Mm -hmm. um, but again, race for the cure tomorrow. Yeah. So lots of folks are looking to the skies. Mother's Day. Uh, yeah. Yeah, now it's not looking so pretty. It's not looking terrible, but okay. you might have to watch out for a little bit of rain moving on through. But a little bit of rain certainly wasn't the story this evening and into tonight getting a live look right now at Cape May. Damp conditions, the rain, the falling rain has ceased. Been seeing a lot of flashes in this scene. Let's see if we can catch one as we get a live look on our neighborhood network because you are still getting quite the light show as you look offshore right now. Down the shore with these showers and thunderstorms and severe in some cases continuing to move their way out and exiting the region. But look at all of this lightning, this line of storms so electrically charged, nearly continuous lightning as it traversed the Delaware Valley. And this line still very well intact, but the biggest energy or the most energy with the system is now offshore of the Jersey coastline, but you're still dealing with some residual moderate to light rainfall in some areas and the lightning is still close enough where you need to be inside and not outside to be safe. Storm scan three showing us over the last four hours, this line of strong and severe storms traverse the Delaware Valley. So the strongest energy and the strongest storms south of Philadelphia. And we still do have the severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 1030 for far southern Delaware for the possibility of 60 mile per hour winds and quarter size hail. This cell has a history of producing hail and our latest report of ping pong ball sized hail in White House Landing just south and east of Dover with that cell. Also rainfall totals today over an inch in many locations. Kennett Square an inch and a half with this line. Philadelphia well over an inch same case in Cherry Hill. Wilmington and Doylestown just over an inch, but overnight tonight, things quieting on down. Lingering thunderstorms far south and east over the next couple of hours. Otherwise, just a lingering shower, low temperature at 56 degrees. And then for our Mother's Day, not the best one for mom. Periods of rain and drizzle cool a high temperature only at 60 degrees because of that easterly component to our wind flow is really going to hold temperatures down. But check out this temperature gradient across the area today with our high temperatures. We had a warm front move through parts of the area that helped generate or spark a lot of the shower and thunderstorm activity. It was only 50 in Mount Pocono ahead of the boundary where the boundary went through. We were 84 degrees today in Millville topped at 83 degrees in Wildwood and temperatures right now. We're still fairly mild in most areas, 60 degrees in Philadelphia, 60 down the shore, but chilly in Mount Pocono at 48 degrees and it is going to be a cool day tomorrow for Race for the Cure. Not terrible conditions. We won't have to worry about a thunderstorm threat, but some showers around periods of drizzle, some fog around cloudy conditions and generally cool upper 50s, but that's good for walking. And we're going to be dealing with this unsettled weather pattern as we head into the upcoming week as well with a stalled out frontal boundary that's going to kind of just flop back and forth over the Delaware Valley. So damp with showers tomorrow, as I mentioned, showers and a thunderstorm return as we head into Monday night. And then we have a thunderstorm chance as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday as well. So future weather show us pretty quiet through the rest of the overnight period. Here are some showers moving through for our Mother's Day, kind of rounds of rain. We'll see the heaviest of rain across portions of Delaware. And then as we head into tomorrow night, could see a few more showers and thunderstorms. And then into Monday, we start things off pretty quiet. Daytime hours mainly dry on Monday, but then Monday night, Hello, shower and thunderstorm chance returns once again, but for tomorrow, watching out for periods of rain, high temperatures really struggle with that east wind, generally in the upper 50s to near 60 degrees. As we head into Monday, we're popping up to 78 degrees, then in the middle 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday, with showers and thunderstorms looking likely. And as we head into late day Tuesday, we might have to watch out again for another strong, potentially severe weather threat. So stay tuned to that evolving forecast.